Good morning, Cardano Army. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead and do all the things that the algorithm likes for me. Thank you to our wonderful Patreon subscribers, Catherine B. Alpha, LLC, Craig F. Ruzden, Maryland for Crypto, and VET Docky. Join the Patreon Army today. Really appreciate you guys. Let's get the show started. So, World Mobile's got some big news. World Mobile just secured a licensed spectrum in the USA. It's pretty cool. World Mobile has been doing a lot of cool stuff. They've been putting up air nodes throughout, you know, the Netherlands, throughout Africa. These guys are going everywhere. And now World Mobile has uh, received a license to put air nodes in states like California, New Mexico and Utah. Another valuable win for Cardano showcasing the power of its decentralized blockchain on its way to 1 billion users. This is pretty awesome. World Mobile Token is one step closer to becoming an official mobile network operator in the USA. So a couple months ago, we showed that their network is actually working. You can connect to their network, go to websites. It is pretty awesome to see where they've come. Um, so this is cool here. Shout out to World Mobile. Um, these guys are pretty amazing. These guys are pretty amazing. So, um, yeah. Yeah. World Mobile has received a license in America. So, we are going to start covering that. You know, if they get to put uh, a couple of air nodes where I'm at, might as well check it out because my current cable subscriber sucks. <laughs> <laughs> let's just say that so let's go ahead and move on thank you to OneCom to consider one C-O-M-M you guys know the drill please consider delegating your crypto to OneCom keep Cardano decentralized 0% fees until at least in December 2023 for all existing and new delegators thank you so much to OneCom let's keep chopping there's millions of ADA staked to dead pools you are not receiving any ADA make sure you're checking all your wallets to make sure you're receiving ADA, all right, guys? Do not be that guy. And you're gonna hear it, you're gonna see it. During the next bull run, when you're trying to cash out, say, oh, I've been letting my ADA sit. I should have a lot of ADA. And then come to find out you've been sticking to a dead pool. Go ahead and join one com, guys. 0% fees until at least the end of December, 2023. For all existing and new delegators, there's one every bull run. I'm telling you, there's one every bull run. And then they're going to complain, and it's going to be funny, and we'll laugh at them. But let's go ahead and move on, guys. You know, you already know, I say it every video, so. We got Charles Hoskins in here, so you guys know XRP had a great ruling um, that they're not investment contracts, but... You know, the fight is not over. People got a little excited. I did too. The fight is not over. We're going to need multiple rulings in XRP's favor for us to finally beat this. So Charles Hoskins has said, well done, XRP. One small step for XRP Nation, one giant leap for cryptocurrencies. I would agree. XRP is a digital token and is not in of itself a contract transaction or a scheme that embodies the Howey requirements of an investment contract. Rather, the court examines the totality of circumstances surrounding defendants' different transactions and schemes involving the sale and distribution of XRP. Each transaction must be analyzed and evaluated on the basis of content of the instruments in question and the purposes intended to be served and the factual setting as a whole. Okay, so that's pretty good. Obviously, the SI, the, the SEC is going to appeal, and you know they're going to bring counter arguments uh, to the table. And all this has made me realize, guys, that I fumbled the bag in college. I got a crappy degree. I should have went to law school because these lawyers are raking it in. They are literally getting the bag while I'm out here struggling, and you know. Uh, slaving away it's ridiculous like i should have become a lawyer i don't know what the heck i was thinking nobody guided me <laughs> when i was 18 making a major decision that's why i think that college should be delayed until you're like at least 30 so you know like what you want to do not just coming right out of high school 
when you're 18 and making that major decision. But hey, you know, I should have become a lawyer because these lawyers are getting the money. Oh my God, it's ridiculous. Um, so maybe I might do that. I don't know. <laughs> but these securities lawyers are raking it in. Those are the only people that win in this. XRP, they don't win. I mean, even if they do win, their last bull run was stunted. Who knows? XRP could have went to $5 last bull run if this whole thing didn't um didn't happen. Uh the SEC doesn't win. What if they, you know, even if they win the case, millions of taxpayer dollars spent on this, uh investors destroyed. You know, the only people that win in this case are the lawyers. And it's sickening, but hey, that's the way we that's the way it's set up. And we just gotta work within the system. So congratulations, XRP. This will this case will definitely help Cardano. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh Cardano wasn't even IPO'd in America, so I don't even know why how they could be considered a security. Legitimately, they weren't even IPO'd in America. They were IPO'd in Japan. Japan is not America, Gary Gensler. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Gary Gensler's been real quiet since this dropped. I will say that. He's been real quiet. Because he gets roasted every time he t opens his mouth. But it is what it is. Let's move on. Got some lace updates here, guys. Shout out to Cars Dino 365 and IOHK. Let's go ahead and play it. In the last update that we've done, we've invited our auditing partners, FIO, to talk a little bit about the auditing process that we've undergone and the security foundings that they've uncovered. So essentially, since the publication of the report, we've essentially fixed all the security advice that, uh, that the FIO team has given us. And as a consequence of that one, we've essentially open sourced LACE to the public. So not only the FIO team, but everybody in the LACE community can check the, the LACE code and see exactly what we've done in the LACE browser. Now, as many, uh, many of you know, the Cardano JS SDK was already open source for quite a while, which is the engine behind LACE. And it's also a, a very popular tool under the Cardano developer community for a lot of applications. So now with the combination of the Cardano JS SDK being open source and in its first release version and the latest complete code stack being open source, the community has a wide insight into everything that has been happening with Lace. All right, nice Lace update. Let's go ahead and move on guys. Finally here. Um, Emergo uh, is going to be the headline sponsor for the Cardano Summit. It's pretty awesome. Let's seize the opportunity to connect with the Cardano community, build a better future with Cardano. Uh, the 2nd to the 4th, November 2023, main stage in Dubai. Save the date. We'll see you in Dubai. So this is pretty cool. Uh, we're thrilled to announce Emergo headline sponsor for the Cardano Summit. Emergo is a founding entity of the Cardano blockchain, which provides services to drive adoption through Cardano's expansion. Um, so Cardano Summit, November, super excited. Again, it's going to be in Dubai. There will obviously be a, um, a virtual event as well, so we can follow along virtually. Uh, yeah. So keep work that on your calendar. It should be a good time. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you to our Patreon subscriber, Catherine B. Off the LSC Cracker, Fruzdin, in Maryland for Crypto, and VET Docky. I will talk to you guys soon. Love y'all. Keep chopping wood. Have a good day.